planner friends welcome back i'm jenny from jenny's got a plan and today i am planning in my paper house journey book i'm going to be working on october 19th through the 25th i've already laid down some washi at the top and bottom of my page this is um some spider web washi from paper house isn't that so dang cute so my next step is going to be numbering my uh, days um, journey books are set up a lot like traveler's notebooks and paper house has a lot of, um, products to help you customize your, your journey book. Um, these date stickers come in a pack. You get three months on the front and then three months on the back, different colors and fonts, which I really like. It's nice to be able to change things up a little. Um... I'm going with this one because I'm just really into pink and orange right now for October. I think it's really pretty. So, just go ahead and number these. And then for my date covers, um, Paper House has a sticker book with Avalon and Ninth. Her date covers are my absolute favorite. So, I'm pretty sure... I have like five or six of these sticker books and I need to order another one. They're so good. I'll show you what I mean. All right. So this is the Avalon and Ninth sticker book and it's like two page kits kind of. You have your dates and some boxes and icons and then full boxes. Just so cute. So, the sticker kit I'm working with is new from Paper House. It's the new, I can't ever say this right, you guys. Is it Chibi? Chibi? Whatever this is, is what I'm working with. So, I think I might just go with like a red or an orange. Ooh, or yellow. We'll do yellow. Kind of play off of our number sticker too. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love this because I feel like then every week can just be a little different. Like there's so many possibilities with these. All right. Plus it's nice to have like coordinating colors for other parts of your planner. If you needed to do boxes or a weekend sticker or whatever it is, the sticker book really has you covered. All right, and then we'll go find, oh, perfect. A really cute October sticker. Cute. And then if you followed me for any amount of time, you know how I feel about weather icon stickers. They are one of my absolute favorite things. So I've already written down what the weather's forecasted to be. So Monday is sun and clouds. Um, oh yeah, I do have some clouds left there. Yeah, these functional icon stickers, oh my gosh, aren't they cute? I love that they're gold and you have the colors, so you can really, you know, have them stick out more in your spread or be more subtle. Sometimes I do the subtle, but I tend to be just, well, bam, get it out there. I like color. Okay, got that. And we've got our cloud. Cute. And then I think we need some more sun and clouds for our weekend. Okay. Ah, oh, love it. Doesn't that just look bright already? So cute. 
All right, now to dig in with this super cute kit. All right, I think I'm gonna take the steps all the way up along the side. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang, I should have ordered more of these. I'm gonna have to place another order. Isn't that so cute? It's adorable. <gasps> Love it. Okay. I'm going to go in with this Don't Forget sticker up here. Yeah, we'll get my tweezers and come in with a couple of these little icons. Gryffindor, we've got, ooh, you know what, I might do this way. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then we'll go with our blue. Oh, I better move that up so it's more even. And stickers are really easy to adjust on these pages. Um, sometimes papers can be really thin, but I haven't really ever had a problem with paper house stickers like sticking too much. I can usually move stickers around in here pretty easily. Isn't that so cute? Oh, love it. Okay. And then take a look. I usually like having some habit trackers. Um, I need to do better at drinking water and um, I try and keep on top of my skincare. So I like having these little um, habit trackers to remind me of that. So I think I am going to go with the same kind of colors we did for our date covers. And a reddish colored one for my Harry Potter spread. Isn't this so cute? So then, as far as like icons go, I think I'm gonna play off of the reds more. Um, I've used some of those yellows. And I kind of want it to be brighter. So, Tuesday is the payday for me. I usually do my meal planning on Thursday. Um, okay, now we'll go back in with Harry Potter. Oh, these are so cute. All right, so I have my mischief managed steps there. So I think what I'm gonna do is there's a little box sticker. So, There's two, okay. I might layer them with this really cute red star one. I think on Friday, what do you think? Oh, it might not even need the red, huh? Yeah, we'll pop the red in there, pop some color in. When in doubt, add color. Okay. And then, if you saw my flip through on Instagram, this Dumbledore sticker, absolutely love it. 
So we are going to add that, I think with this wands sticker. And I might go in with a colorful box. Like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. And then there are these like checkbox stickers that I think I might just have to trim down a touch. But not bad. Okay, so I've got my craft knife. Does that look even? And then, do I want to do boxes or another checkbox? Let's see here. I almost think this is tricky. I've got this really cute blue brooms box. I think I'll do that. And then I can add some of these cute boxes to the side. I might trim that down just a shade so that the page doesn't get caught. Okay, that's cute. And then I think I'll go in and do a blue check box at the top there. Because it's not on the line, I'm just going to use a gift card to make sure it's as straight as I can make it. Okay, and then I think on Saturday I will go in... There's a really cute sticker that I want to be sure I use. Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? And then on Sunday, I will use my last checkbox sticker that comes in this kit. And again, I'll use my gift card to make sure it's as straight as it can be because it's not on a line. And then I'll just make sure there's nothing else I want to add down to this corner. But isn't this kit so cute? Oh, okay. Nope. I think I'm going to have to go and add this right here. I added that sticker and I love how it looks. Goes very well with the steps. I do feel like I want to add something there in this corner and look how cute Harry Potter is. So cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love it so much. In fact, I think I'm going to add, it comes with cute little glasses that I'm going to add 
on top of my habit tracker. And I'm pretty sure I need to add the Harry Potter little logo right there. Such a cute kit, so fun to work with. I love how this spread turned out. Um, definitely worth it. I will link this kit in the box below. Thank you so much for planning alongside of me. I love how this turned out. I hope you find some time for yourself to do some planning or crafting, uh, whatever it may be. Have a good rest of your day.